Welcome back to Tough Track. The Texas Station goes wild. The reason they're going wild, the Clydesdale rides again after flipping and qualifying when he was knocked onto his roof by the wild hair. Bennett Clark stands a little sheet metal. Nonetheless, he is back and he is ready to go racing. Wow. Well, Scott, like you said, this guy's a Brahma bull rider. You get thrown off, you get right back on. That's exactly what he's doing. But Dennis Anderson won't make it. Here's Chris Chapman with the grave digger. Dennis, what happened out there? I don't know. We got ready to run, and we sat there messing around the line so long. I couldn't get the truck crank, but something was wrong with it before I even went in the building. I ain't had nothing but tough luck all weekend. I'm getting fed up now. You know, that's it. Well, he disgusted Dennis Anderson. I'll tell you, no words tell the story there, don't they, Scott? Absolutely, and the bigger's done for the night. Master of disaster and the Clydesdale. Coming out, wheels up. Disaster on the far side. Clydesdale push him to the left. Look at this. Clydesdale takes the win. Do you believe in miracles? Look at that. He won it. Coming back from landing on his roof. Bennett Clark and Clydesdale get the win, and they love it. At Texas Stadium. And not only did he get the win, he beat last week's winner here at Texas Stadium. And he beat him handily. Look at this. It, it's almost like he's possessed, like he knows the truck can't hurt him now, and he's going to drive it out the back door. Look at this. Bennett Clark out of Powder Springs, Georgia, puts it back together and puts it in the wind column. He beats the master of disaster head up and a big roar as he gets out of the truck from an appreciative crowd at Texas Stadium. Ben, it's been a long night in Texas. What's new, son? Dude, it's tough night out here. The, the truck looks good. You got the confidence back. They say you always got to get back up on that rascal rider. You're an old bull rider. That's exactly what you're doing. Yeah, I like to ride. I like driving monster trucks. That's just like getting towed off the bull. You just get back on it and go again. Well, you see the tapping foot right now. That's inside the Equalizer Chevrolet. And it's the foot of Greg Holbrook, the kid on the spot, riding the World Championship truck. Here's a great matchup. He'll go up against Mike Wine and the Outlaw and Kurt Fisher with that new micro machine. Fisher, Wine, and the kid. Keep an eye on Holbrook. He'll work. Now, look at this. He's starting to come back on him. Whoa, looky here, the new Galoob micro machine really ran hard, but he breaks up and Holbrook, he stays alive, and the Ford, just not going to be the day for wine. Man, side by side, the micro machine and the equalizer, there's another one too close to call. Now, let's take a look and see if maybe the replay can help us as Army works his way over. They come, there's the finish line, and they hit it right there together. Army is over with Greg Holbrook. Let's see what the word is there. Greg, we're keeping out on a replay screen here. It looked like it was so close. We don't have any idea who won. Do you have any idea? No, I couldn't tell. Army, it felt real good. They got the ramp set up. We're just getting all kinds of air tonight. What is, what is the ramp? Everybody keeps talking about the ramps. Uh, the bounces that are coming at the end look like they're putting you in a whole lot of trouble. What I'm saying is brakes don't work when you're four feet in the air, do they? No, you just got to wait to get landed and get squared away from you and start stopping or you just tear up hard. We're waiting for the replay to come up. They're going to give us an announced winner in a second. Boy, it I is close. It. I got if it. You're on the far side. Keep an eye on it. I got him by a wheel. Greg Holbrook tells you I got him by a wheel the exact close. You know, you get around these races like we do, you get a feeling about them. That young man has got a great future in this sport. You can feel the confidence coming. Now, speaking of confidence, look at these two old tough Texans. They're going head to head right now. Last race of the first round, Scott Stevens, the auto value team front. Steve Kane and Austin Paul. Stevens trying to hold it straight. He does a good job. It looks like that the Austin Kong vehicle had a little bit of problem with an engine. Scott Stevens takes the win in King Front. The Auto Value Special getting the victory. Let's watch it again. Well, the replay comes up. Keep an eye on the far lane. Blue Jet Smoke tells the story. Scott Stevens advances out of the near lane, ready for the next round. He was in the finals a week ago, and he's running strong tonight. Well, Scott, I know you're anxious to get back in there, but you did not believe you would get through round after round tonight, and you're the Texas State champion, if we can say so. Yeah, you know, if we can just keep the truck together, you know, and... The main thing is I just want everybody to see out there that's been watching all these TV races and, you know, Bigfoot's been dominating for all this year and now he's racing with a truck that's equal to everybody's. Two weeks in a row he hadn't got past the first round. So, you know, it's like 89. He didn't have a truck that was equal to everybody. He stayed home and built something to be 10 years ahead of us and he can't run with us with equal equipment. 
Hey, the Auto Value King Truck Special, we're ready to go. Hey, our truck's just like everybody else's, you know, we're just trying real hard. You will have no trouble finding out where Scott Stevens stands on the Bigfoot question. Here's where the Major League of Monster Truck Racing is coming. Look for it in your town.